Whether you live in cities, suburbs, or the countryside, people and wildlife share Missouri. However, animals and humans can come into conflict when critters cause damage living nearby or take up residence in our homes. When this occurs, there are steps you can take to evict and exclude these animals. This video will discuss deer, groundhogs, rabbits, small rodents, and birds. Deer are found in every county of the Show Me State and are valuable game species, but they can also become a nuisance eating vegetable gardens and home landscaping. Properly installed fencing is a reliable way to exclude deer from eating what they may consider their buffet. Both woven wire and electric fencing has been found to be effective in separating deer from gardens. Deer have poor depth perception, so fences installed at a 45 degree angle can be effective. Details on proper fence installation can be found on our website at mdc.mo.gov. Groundhogs are another animal where fencing can create a barrier to prevent damage. Here, the fencing made of heavy poultry wire or two inch woven wire must be at least three feet tall. The top 15 inches should be angled out to prevent the groundhog from climbing over, and the bottom 10 to 12 inches should be buried to prevent entry from burrowing. An electric wire used in conjunction with this fencing, while not required, can enhance its effectiveness. Some mammals such as beavers, rabbits and voles, as well as deer, can damage trees by removing the bark around the tree, which is commonly called girdling. This can even cause some trees to die by stopping the flow of nutrients and moisture between the crown and the roots. To prevent this kind of damage, simply wrap the trunk of the tree with one quarter inch hardware screen or chicken wire or stake it out surrounding the tree a short distance from the trunk. 24 inches high for rabbits and bulls, higher, three feet or more for protection from beavers and deer damage. Commercial tree guards or cross fence posts can be used if deer are rubbing the bark off of the tree. Burying the bottom a few inches into the ground or mulch around the base of the tree can prevent tunneling. Birds love to feast on many of the fruits and vegetables we grow for food. Netting can prevent this by creating a barrier between birds and your plants. In the case of fruit trees, measure the circumference of the tree, then add an extra foot before cutting the garden bird netting. Drape it over the tree, then secure it to the trunk using zip ties or twine. For gardens, you can net individual plants or entire beds. Supports can be vertical stakes or half inch PVC hooped over the plant. The netting can be secured on all sides with zip ties, wire, staples, or twine. When netting berries, allow an extra six inches suspended over the top of the plants to avoid birds using their weight to push down the netting and feasting on the top berries. If needed, make sure you allow for an entry point so you can tend and harvest your plants. The methods we have shown here are inexpensive and often effective techniques. If problems persist, contact your local Missouri Department of Conservation office or your local nuisance wildlife control operator. You can find a list of these businesses as well as more information at this website. Thanks for watching.